me to bog off like you would have done to Cam. Okay, all right. Bog off! <laughs> it was like oh. being back 20 years ago. I Her haven't license. done that for so long. Oh, my poor throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right, cockers! Tis I, Hacky T-Dog, from the telly and assorted social medias. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right now! Did you do it? Well hey! I knew you would. And if you didn't, you disgrace me. I'm only kidding, cocker. Please watch, I need the viewers. And while you've stayed, click that like button, yeah? Even if you don't actually like the video, just do it, please. Anyway, I had a top-notch live chat with none other than Tracy Beaker herself, Danny Harmon. Oh, she starred in the story of Tracy Beaker, Tracy Beaker Returns, the Tracy Beaker Survival Files, Danny's House, Danny's Castle, and the Dumping Ground, to name but a few of her televisual ventures. And she was a contestant on Strictly, yes. I caught up with her live from lockdown to chat all things quarantine, a bit of CBBC nostalgia, and she even told me to bog off, would you believe? <laughs> Enjoy. Get Danny Harbour! <laughs> You're Hello. right, Cocker. Hi, I've missed you. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. I've not seen you for ages. I know. I was trying to think when the last time I saw you was, and I think it's when you beat me on Pointless. Yes, I beat you because you were you were rubbish. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was Paul Chuckle. I'm completely blaming Paul Chuckle. Paul Chuckle did drag you down, Cocker. Yeah. I know. <laughs> It was good, wasn't it? We filmed that, I think, that was last summer. But it was only on telly in January, wasn't it? Yeah, it took a while, didn't it? I don't know why. No, it took a long time to edit out all the bad bits, I think. <laughs> yes. Mainly of Paul Chuckle. Yes, I know. I've normally done really well in that programme, so even though he's a complete legend and an idol, he did really poo. He was rubbish. Hey, hang on a minute. <laughs> Have you been on that more than once? Yeah, I think that was my third time. And that was I've not been on again. Else. They haven't invited me back. Well, you never know. There's still time. Well, I felt that I was on more often because they had to waste all the budget on that box to put me in. <laughs> it's all right. I'm that small. I needed a box too, so don't worry. <laughs> Danny Armour. <laughs> well, it's lovely, Danny Armour, to have you on my fantastic Instagram spectacular chat show. Since Hacker Time got cancelled, this is the best I can manage, Cocker. <laughs> I think this is great. This is, um, I think this is only my second Instagram live that I've ever done in my whole life. And I'm just really happy that it's working. I am proud that you've chosen me to be your second Instagram live. I've always been a big number two. <laughs> so I've heard, Hacker, so I've heard. So you've heard. You've told me more than once. Right, Danny Armour. Yes. Although I did do better than you on Pointless. Right. <laughs> Danny Armour. This is going to be high-end, this. Okay. It's terrible outside today, isn't it, Cocker? I'm so glad I'm inside talking to you. Are you enjoying it so far? I am. What, this chat or the whole quarantine process? They're much the same, Cocker. Well, yeah, I suppose this is one of my happier days, actually. It is a shame that the sun isn't shining, but it's lovely to see your face. Well, my face is like the sun shining. <laughs> it's just like it. <laughs> well, I'm in Wigan here, and it's never sunny in Wigan. Oh, that's sad. Does that mean you've not been doing any sunbathing? Not a brass bean cocker. Oh, poor hacker. And I've not been wearing trousers all lockdown. Me neither, don't worry. Hey! Danny <laughs> Harmer! Whoops! Right, Danny Harmer. <laughs> My favourite experience of us two working together, apart from your failure on Pointless, was when you appeared on my fantastic cat show, Hacky Time. Which, by the way, Danny Harmer, was <laughs> ten years ago. No way. Yes, yeah, series one you were on. We filmed it in TV Centre, in TC9, near the Blue Peter Garden. It was ten years ago. That I was my favourite experience of working with you. Oh. What has been your favourite experience of working with me? Um, I think my favourite experience of working with you was when I came on and presented with you guys, uh, you and Ian, and I think yeah. it was for about three weeks. Um, and that was really, really good fun. I really enjoyed that. But also, I do miss the TC9 days, and I miss the Blue P Peter Garden, um, but I cannot believe that was ten years ago. That's made me feel ancient. It has ten years ago. Well, you've aged better than I have, Cocker. Look at the state oh. of me. 
I don't know about that. I think I might have more grey hairs than you, actually. I haven't been able to go near a hairdresser, so... All, yeah, my, hair, all my hairs are grey, because I can only really see in black and white. <laughs> you look beautiful, don't worry. <laughs> Thanks, Cocker. Hey, yeah, they've flattened these tower. That's gone. Blue Peter Garden's gone. PC9, I, I think, is still there around the other side. Oh, I, I haven't been there for so long. I imagine it feels really weird now, like completely. It is different. weird. It's like a weird block of flats. I went a couple of years ago because I was on Strictly Dancing It Takes Two. Oh, yes. Good old It Takes Two. Fun times. Yeah. Again, number two. Everything I do is a number two. Well. But not this. This is that <laughs> good. Right, Danny Harmer. Yes. How does it feel being a CBBC legend? Your portrayal of Tracy Beaker was top-notch, Cocker. What's it like being a legend? Oh, thank you very much. Um, I don't know about a legend, uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, obviously, I've been Tracy Beaker for a really long time. Um, you know, since the age of 12, I am now 31. Trying oh, yeah. To... Yeah, don't tell anyone that, all right. Um, last, yeah. When we did Hacker Time, you were 21, I remember that. Oh, 21. Oh, I want to be 21 again. That was so fun. Uh, but yeah, so... Yeah, I've been uh, Tracy Beaker for a really long time now. Um, I think we're going to celebrate the 20th anniversary next year, um, which is actually crazy. So, um, yeah, big party, I hope. I'm going to try and do some sort of reunion, but I don't know how to go about that. I'm not very good with technology, but I'm going to hunt no, down as many people as I can. <laughs> well, if the lockdown's all finished with by then, you should come up to CBBC, because I'm sure we'll be showing old Tracy Beaker for the anniversary. Oh, yeah, that would be good, actually. Maybe we could have a big reunion up at uh, Media City. That would be fun. On the telly. Get Jacqueline Wilson down. She's, yeah. good. She's good for a laugh. I'll have a word with my people. I'll oh, speak to my people. Too. Yes, because I know that you know the right people and the right crowds to get in with. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, if you could sort that out, that'd be great. And I love Jacqueline Wilson. She is one of my favourite human beings on the whole yes. planet. And mine. She's funny. We always have a laugh. She yeah. sometimes mentions me when she's on other people's programs. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's good. She's mad, isn't she? But she's yeah. such a lovely lady. And her rings. Her hundreds and hundreds of I rings. I know. It's amazing. Her hands have got metal fatigue. <laughs> now, Danny Armour, it's yes. exciting, this. Can you still do the Tracy Beaker voice? Uh, I think it's just my voice. So, yeah, I can do it. <laughs> can you remember any of her lines? Um, I can remember, um, oh, hang on. Was it Bog Off, I think? I think, I think it might have been. Say. T say it to me. Do a, Tell me to Bog Off like you would have done to Cam. Okay, all right. Bog Off! <laughs> it was like oh. being back 20 years ago. I have done that for so long. <laughs> oh, my poor throat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, you look more like Tracy Beaker now because of your curly hair. Because the last time I saw you, you had straight hair. Yes, I straightened my hair for so long. Um, and then when I had my little one, Avery, <clears throat> I just didn't have time to straighten it anymore. And so I just embraced the curls. Um, You've gone back to vintage Tracy Beaker then. Yeah, man. But why not? And do you know, it's so much easier. I can literally get out of the shower, towel dry my hair, and off, off I go. Rather than off you go. The same goes. For and the yes, rest have, of the day. You're, you're very lucky because I actually did wash my hair especially for you today. I'm proud and I shall make a note of it in my diary. Please do. <laughs> I will, Cocker. <laughs> now, you're a very busy person at the moment. How is it being a mum? And how's the academy? Oh, the academy. I miss it so much. It is really hard. Obviously, since this whole pandemic, we've obviously had to close our doors, but we're trying to do as much as we possibly can online. Uh, we do a weekly quiz, which is great. I haven't won yet, but I'm hoping this week is my week. Uh, and yeah, being a mum is just the best thing in the whole wide world. Um, obviously, I haven't slept for years, but other than that, it's great. Uh, Overrated. Yeah, exactly. Um, and she's just a bundle of joy, honestly. She's completely barking mad. Oh, hacker. Woof, woof! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yes, she's completely nuts. Um, I don't know where she gets that from. So. Yeah, I can't imagine Tracy being... <laughs> hey, I just you watch me on the telly? Uh, she has, actually. She has seen you because she watched Pointless. Um, but yeah, she's still a little bit too young for CBBC. We're going to wean her off CBBS and Disney and we'll, we'll find our way to CBBC. Yeah, get us on because we need the viewers, Cocker. We're struggling. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> Thanks, Danny Arbor. I'm proud of you. And me, but mostly you. Thanks. Now, <laughs> have you got any interesting stories from lockdown? Oh, any interesting stories? Yeah. Um, I'd like to think that I was being like really creative and had great stories, but actually in being realistic, I've been in my pajamas like the entire time and just watching telly, if I'm completely honest. I have managed to teach my daughter the alphabet, so that's a little tick. Um, but any, I've learned how to cook. How oh, have you? Have you been cooking? I have. I've been cooking all sorts um, because you know, I, I don't like to brag, but I won uh, Come Dine With Me. Um, I don't like to mention it or anything, but uh, yes. Yeah. mentioned that then. She mentioned it. <laughs> she didn't mention it, Haki, yeah. I thought she did well. <laughs> so since then, I've decided maybe I should try and get a bit better. Um, so yeah, that's about it, really. But no, no funny, no funny stories. I've not left the house. No. Well, every week, my producer asked me to ask people have they got any funny stories and nobody has nobody and he's has. not learned that oh. being in lockdown is just boring it is i'm so sorry i wish i could have said something no no I no it. it's I not can't. you it's my useless producer who keeps <laughs> copy and pasting the same questions every week i've told it's him the one. <laughs> yes i'm livid about that because no one's got anything exciting to tell me because lockdown's rubbing yeah right. it is a bit pants it's trousers, isn't it? It is trousers, you're absolutely right. <laughs> now, Danny Armour, yes. you are an actress, a good, a, a comedian, a cook, a chef, an all-round good guy. What's your favourite karaoke song and why? Oh, that's so difficult. It depends. If I'm going to duet, then I think a Grease Megamix is always good. You can't but, go wrong. Can't go wrong. Yeah, but you've got to have someone there up there with you. Someone uh, as good as me. Yes, exactly. Um, if I was on my own, I would probably try and attempt something by like Whitney Houston because I know that I absolutely cannot sing that properly and just for a laugh. So yeah, probably that. Well, I wish love you. <laughs> hey, you're right. You're dreadful at that. Right, yeah, Danny Armour. You yeah. in the. Uh, I've seen you on stage in lots of different things. What other things have you been in that's on the stage? Oh, that's on the stage. Um, well, I did the Rocky Horror Show, which probably isn't appropriate for your audience, I don't think. But if I you love it, it though. It's my favourite film. <laughs> I thought it would be. Um, so, yes, I played Janet, which was yes. really, really good fun. Um, I think I've managed to play pretty much every Disney princess there is going now in pantomime, uh, apart from Princess Jasmine, so I'm going to tick her off my list at one point. Um, what else have I done? Oh, I was in Annie when I was younger. Who did you play? I played a character called J July, who was kind of like the, the tough nut that kind of liked to... Now, Annie, is, that's another one. Annie's my favourite film. That and Rocky really? Yeah. Oh, well, I tell you what, when I was younger and I first watched Annie, that's what made me want to be an actress. It's brilliant, isn't it? it it's well, who's so your favourite, isn't it? My favourite's Miss Hannigan. Carol Burnett <laughs> is a genius. Carol Burnett is the best. I don't care what anybody says. I've gone off script a bit. Carol <laughs> Burnett is brilliant. <laughs> she actually is. I, I don't know whether Miss Hannigan is my favourite character, though. I, you're really right. Quite I, vile. I'm not being wacky. I love it. And Mick Carol Burnett is the best. And I won't have anything bad said about her. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, honestly. I'm going to go and watch it in a minute, actually. I love it. Have you got the special edition DVD with an interview with Aileen Quinn, as she is now talking about it? No, I haven't, actually. But I'm going to have to now go and buy that on Amazon. Thank you very Just much. Just get it on YouTube for free. It's oh, okay. interesting. I'll do that Because she's then. a teacher. She's a teacher now, like <laughs> you. Ah. That sounds good. Oh, wow. It's very interesting. Oh, she's not been in. She hasn't been in anything else since Annie, you see. Really? So that was the only thing she ever did? Yeah. Oh, I did, did not know that. Oh, I'm learning so much of you, Hacker. But you're so good in it. I love Annie. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your button, John, and that tomorrow. There'll be sun. When I'm stuck with a day that's grey and lonely. I just stick out my chin and grin and say, Your turn! The tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. 
There'll be There'll sun be tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yo, tomorrow, I love ya. Tomorrow, you're only a day away. Yes, yeah, the best thing I've ever done on Instagram. <laughs> hey, I love that, Danielle, because uh, you're great, Annie's great, Carol Burnett's great. Therefore, this Instagram live is the best Instagram live on Instagram. So there. Uh, yeah. Now, Danny Armour. Yeah. I'm walking out now. I've excited myself a little bit. <laughs> Before we go, I would like to ask you, Danny Armour. Yes. Could I ask you a couple of questions from the fantastic comments down below? Oh, yes, please. That would be great. Right. I'll try and stroll through them with my limited abilities. If anybody's got any questions... <laughs> But me, or Danny Armour, well, mainly Danny Armour, because I can hang around later, because I've nothing better to do, because I've no friends. <laughs> Apart from you, Danny Armour. Any I'll questions for Danny Armour on the comments, please? Anyway, Come on! I don't mind. You just said, don't ask me to say bog off again, because I've already done that. You said it again in a way, Fulham. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is a good one. Mr. Unknown Edge One says, who do you miss the most from the story of Tracy B? Yeah. Oh, gosh, that's really difficult. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I could just pick one person. Um, pick the worst one, that, just to annoy them. <laughs> um, no, actually, I think who I miss most is probably Lisa, um, who played Cam. Yeah. Because um, we just had the most amazing bond. Uh, and it was really nice to work with her and Trace Speaker Returns as well. Um, and, yeah, she's just the loveliest lady. She's so cool. She's, like, a wonderful actress. And, yeah, I learned so much from her. So I think probably Lisa, actually. Do you still see her very often? I don't. She lives up in, well, not that far, but she lives in Bristol. Um, so it's really hard. And she's very busy. I'm busy. It's just really hard to work schedules. So, uh, But you never know. If the 20th is going to happen next year that we're organising, Hacker, then we'll have to find Lisa Coleman. I'll speak to someone. I'll speak Thank to... You. Yeah, I'll get Jacqueline Wilson on it. She's nothing better to do. No, she doesn't. Yeah, she's probably just sat around with all her rings. Catting all of her cash. <laughs> that's only jealousy on my part, that's all. Right. <laughs> Any more quizzes for Danny Armour? Here we go. Uh, oh, here we go. This is exciting, this one. Um, Genta Gemma says... Genta Gemma says, I've got a question. What is your favourite scene in Tracy Beaker to film? What was your favourite scene oh. to film? Oh, to film. I thought you meant the film. I was like, oh, that's very specific. I'm not sure. Um, my favourite... Oh, bit to film. Yeah. What was the most fun that, or the most weird or something? I think, actually, I'll go with, like, the hardest first. Yeah, and yeah. that was actually in Tracy Beaker Returns um, when we were... When Lily was on the roof and I had to be on the roof with her because I am really not very good with heights at all. Oh, I'm not, I get frightened on a thick carpet. I, it was terrible. They didn't put us on the actual roof, but they built a roof, and it. but it was still really high up, yeah. and we had nothing to hold on to or anything like that, so that was terrifying. Um, and then the weirdest one to film was, um, I can't remember what series it was, but um, we did a, an entire musical episode. Oh, it was dreadful. <laughs> oh, I think that's like the only episode that CBBC doesn't repeat because it's so bad. It was just a terrible idea. And we, we were all teenagers and you can tell that we didn't want to do it. We were really embarrassed. Um, and it's just it's just odd. It's a very, very strange episode that doesn't make any sense. Uh, and yeah, it was really, really embarrassing, especially for a teenager with braces. It was just, oh no. no. Uh, hey, TDG underscore JW underscore fan says that was a good episode. So they like it. Oh, okay. Well, um, you hey, have the jumping ground. The jumping ground did an old musical episode recently. Did it? And how, I bet that was better than our one, though. No, it was dreadful. Right. Oh, any okay. more questions? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, cocker. Da, da, da. It's hard to scroll when you've got no hands. Yeah, I was going to say that's probably tricky. Oh, here we go. Danny Armour, who is your favourite actress and what is your favourite movie? And that is not including Carol Burnett in Annie. We've no, okay. that. We've, we've already spoken about Annie. Um, my Too much of anything. Yeah. Uh, my favourite actress is Meryl Streep. Because yeah, she's very good. Let's be honest, she's the best actress in the whole entire world. Um, Wait, well, Carol Burnett, she's a good close second to Carol Burnett. Yes, a, a, clo a close second.
second. All right, I'll settle for that one. Uh, so, yeah, it's got to be Meryl Streep. Everything she does, I just absolutely adore. Um, and my favourite film is... I'm a massive nerd, so I absolutely love Lord of the Rings. All three films, I couldn't pick one out of them. Um, but, yeah, I can literally watch them over and over and over again. Um, and I'm so glad because they're finally back on Netflix, so I can watch them every single evening before I go to bed. Do you know what? I've never seen one. Have you not? Oh, my goodness, yeah. you have to. Especially now, there's, like, no excuse. You've got hours to kill. So it's, they're brilliant. They are so, so good. And get the extended versions, because why not? They're about four hours long each. Oh, Danny Amber, that is a long, that's a long time in dog <laughs> hours. It is, but it, trust me, it was so worth it. It's I'll great. just skip to the end when they find the ring and move on with my life. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, do it, I promise. Now, any more questions? Here we go. This is a question for me, but I'll ask it because it's funny. Cousin underscore chaos B C Z G says, Did you kill the aardvark from the 90s? Yes, I did. <laughs> the only way to get a job round here, cocker. Oh, I miss that aardvark. Otis, yeah. <laughs> he, didn't, he doesn't mention you very often, Danny, so I wouldn't give him too much thought. Oh, I thought we were friends. Never mind. You we're me and you are friends, Danny Armour. We're no. friends. Yeah, we're like best friends, though. Yeah. We, we, we were just like acquaintances. Acquaintances at best. Yeah. Anyway, and this is good. Oliver Waite says, well, I'm going to change the question. Oliver Dot Waite says, Danny Armour, tell Hacker a joke. Oh, tell you a joke? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. Why did Harry fall off the horse? I don't know. Because he was a fish. Write that down. Write it down, Will. We'll have that. Oh, we'll write. I don't get it, but I'll write it. Cheers, Will. I'm making that. He couldn't hold on to the horse. No, I know. I get it, Danny. Nice. It's just the delivery was weak. When I tell it later, <laughs> it'll get all the laughter. Oh, it's my favourite joke. It's so silly. It's now my joke, so you have no <laughs> hold over it anymore. It's fine. Honestly, you can have it. You don't even have to credit me. It's fine. I wasn't going to. Now, Danny Armour. It has been a pleasure, nay privilege, having Aww. you on my Instagram live. No, I'm going to let you go you. now, so oh, you can go and get so your much. feet up, ready for Coronation Street. Yes, Coronation Street. I haven't watched that one in a while, but I might give it a go. It's like half past seven, Cocker. Is it's it right? It's a bit heavy at the minute, it so don't, I wouldn't bother if I was you. Okay, all right, I won't bother. I'll probably just go back to watching Lord of the Rings again. Go watch Lord of the Rings, Cocker. <laughs> I'm a right, there's a right laugh. That's funny, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Well, Danny Armour, it's been a pleasure. Oh, before you go. Oh, yeah. Can I do a screenshot with you? Yeah, of course. I don't Give us a big smile. Come on. I'll do it. There we are. And if anybody else wants to what, do one, I'm giving you the chance now. All the people watching this, do a screen grab now. Go. <laughs> there you go. Now put those on your Instagram stories. Uh, on your Instagram generally and tag me in them at Tackety Dog and I will look at them with my beady eyes. You can also tag Danny Armour in them, but I can't guarantee she'll look at them because she's a bit flaky. Thank <laughs> you very much, Danny Armour. Yep. I'll have a word with your people that organise the 20th anniversary as long as I can get first dibs on the catering. Of course, absolutely. No hey, <laughs> thanks, Danny. You're a fabulous. Person, Bye, and I appreciate you. it. Have a lovely yeah, lockdown and give my regard to your Bye. little daughter. Bye -bye. See you later. Right, I'll stop it. How do you stop this stupid? Well, what do you do? Press that. Oh, she's done it. Thanks, Danny Armour. That was exciting, wasn't it, Cockers? Did you enjoy that? Well, wasn't that a lovely dawdle down memory lane and nostalgia street? Stopping by at Thoughtful Road. Oh, if you enjoyed that lovely Insta Live, then why don't you follow my Insta? <laughs> See where I was going then, Cocker, at Hackety Dog. You can peruse all my lovely photographs and videos and general insanity. And because you've made it all the way to the end of this video, I will now reward you with being able to subscribe to this lovely channel. Oh yes, and even if you didn't like the video, click the like button, please. And you can watch all my other great videos in these wonderful playlists too, Cocker. Because as we all know, there's no tells to do. You can even watch them outside in the sunshine, providing your Wi-Fi is strong enough. I mean, mine isn't. 
so I shall be watching my videos in the garden, but I will be watching them right here in my kennel. Now, bog off! You mustn't. You must.